Hi, I'm Ken Torino, the founder of KTOR, and today we're going to give you some instructions on how to use our hand crank generator and some tips on how to get the most out of it. So if you ordered a hand crank generator from us, it'll come to you in a box like this. Open it by cutting the tape on the end. Open the end. Generator will slide right out. And you'll find included with it a copy of the instructions. And you can open these up and you can follow along with us as we do this instructional video. So the first step is to remove the rubber band from your hand crank generator. The next step is to flip the handle over. It should click into place. Sometimes when you get them from the factory, they're stiff. You can move it back and forth a couple times, loosen it up. Don't overstress the shaft. If it's very stiff, put your thumb behind it so you don't put stress on the shaft. You'll note that the generator can be used clockwise, counterclockwise, righty or lefty. Now ready for step three, which is using your hand crank charger to charge a device. You'll notice that your hand crank charger comes with a standard 120 volt socket like you would find in any household. Take the charger of the device that you want to charge, plug it into the socket, Place the rubber band. This does two things. It makes it easier to grip the unit and helps keep the charger in place. Grip the unit with one hand, you grip the cranking arm with the other hand, and you're now ready to start cranking. But before you do, make sure you don't have any fingers in the way so that you might strike them when you start cranking. Make sure the wire is not in a position where it'll get caught in the cranking arm. And make sure when you start cranking, you don't strike any solid objects, like you might hit a table or, or anything that might be in the way. We're now up to step six. You're ready to start charging the device. The most important thing is to crank fast at least two cycles per second. Let me try and demonstrate with this light bulb where it's very easy to see. First, I'll start charging slowly and then I'll increase speed. So first slowly. And you'll see you're getting no light out at all. Now I'll go a little bit faster. And you can see the light bulb was flickering on and off intermittently. Now, full speed. Full brightness. Now this is an 11 watt bulb and this is a 10 watt generator, so you can see you need to go at full speed to get full power. A couple of tips when you're doing uh, generating. Some people grip really hard and try and hold this unit still. It's really not necessary. As long as this goes around two cycles per second, you're generating power. I find it's actually easier to relax, grip it, you know, in a relaxed motion and develop a rhythm. Some people also find it's easier to take the rubber band and wrap it around their hand to make it easier to grip the unit. Some people have also taken some Velcro, find it any hardware store, and again strap the unit to their hand so they don't really have to use much force gripping it. Another thing you could do, hold on the edge of a table. And some people will strap it or attach it to a solid object. As long as you're taking this and spinning it at two cycles per second, experiment it, find what's most comfortable for you, it'll generate power. Now one of the really good features about our device, you've noticed, is it's got a 120 volt standard socket. And what that means is any portable device at 10 watts or less will work with our unit. You'll notice I've been using a Motorola Droid phone and demonstrating it. We also have an Apple phone. Also have an Apple MP3 player, an iPod. Yeah. 
an Apple iPad. Digital cameras, rechargeable lights. Look at the flashing red light here, you'll see it's charging. So you'll find that our devices are extremely versatile. Of course, any device, 10 watts or less, can be plugged into the standard 120 volt socket and can charge a full range of devices.